To experience the work of painter Christopher Still is to understand the vibrancy, the character, and the heart of the real Florida. Born in Clearwater into a creative family, it is difficult to separate the Floridian from the artist. Christopher Still is decidedly and exceptionally a Floridian artist. A graduate of the Pennsylvania Academy of the Fine Arts, Still studied human anatomy at Jefferson Medical School, apprenticed in Florence, Italy, and developed rich and varied artistic techniques studying under more than 75 different artists from around the world. These vast and comprehensive studies were preparation for Still's long-held vision to dedicate his artistry to celebrate and advocate for the state he loves. The goal was always to go away, get the skills, to come back and try to paint Florida the way I was experiencing it. When I came here, it's funny now to be known for doing subject matters of Florida that are appreciated, because when I first came back, Florida was not a subject that people saw as a serious subject matter for art. We're, we're starting to, which is what's exciting, is that Florida's starting to celebrate itself. Artists and writers and filmmakers, you're starting to see them not mirror other places, but see what's unique about here. And that's where I felt like that was the only possibility for me to do something tr truly original, was to do something deeply personal. Many may not realize that they have experienced Still's intensely detailed work. His paintings occupy the Smithsonian Institution and the walls of Florida's House of Representatives, with 10 murals vividly depicting the state's history. His stunning La Florida hangs in the governor's mansion in Tallahassee. And in the Tampa Bay area, Still's work is on display in many public spaces, including St. Petersburg City Hall, Tampa International Airport, and the Sand Pearl Resort. And his work has graced multiple Tampa Bay magazine covers. For Still, truth is in the details. A self-described impatient man the artist possesses a compelling ability to capture nuance and specificity, reflecting stories within stories in his extraordinary work. Applying his mastery of photorealism, he inspires us to take in the world around us, to connect to the shared experience of being alive. My working or working style might be so counter to the fast pace of modern life, but actually it's screaming out I want to take time. I, I, I want to know where I am. I want to feel what's happened. I want to know what happened in this place where I live. You know, I, I think they say that ADD people like never really feel exactly where they are in time and space. I think it's a beautiful gift, the privilege that artists are kind of roaming just looking at life. And is it a surprise that everybody makes different art? You know, absolutely not. My work, if, if anything, is sincere. You know, my projects are taken because I feel sincerely connected to wanting to tell that story or work on that. These details are central to the artist's efforts to honor his subjects and their stories by thoroughly researching and instilling a distinct and dimensional portrayal to the people and places of his beloved state. I had some big important commission that I was being offered and I turned it down because I saw this family that was oystering. They had, they had no money at all. I found that there was more security than I ever thought in following what moved me because I always saw that if I put in a room, if I had 50 paintings there, that I'd just see people, they would just gravitate like a magnet to the same things I was interested in. I just can't explain it is, except for the possibility of just the transfer of enthusiasm into something that all people feel. Still, who in 2010 became the youngest member ever inducted into Florida Artists Hall of Fame, has many more stories to share through his work. I love the Floridian. I love the Floridian that is not in the history books. Probably the biggest theme is, is what a beautiful place we live in. Are we gonna realize that before we so drastically change it? I'm desperately trying to get everything finished in my lifetime that I wanna paint. In many ways, Christopher still dispels the myth of the artist as an isolated figure. His deep appreciation of community and of our inherent interconnectedness is central to his work. 
and provides an opportunity for us to experience his art as a deeply unifying force. I really try to avoid to be preachy, but I'm preaching to myself. I think as much as we've tried to become self-reliant, we haven't realized just how much we need each other.